Tourism Minister the Honorable Dionisio Diaguilar has expressed optimism over the trajectory of tourism arrivals this year and the spike that family islands are benefiting from. He told Parliament today about new found highs in arrival forecasts and revenues at the national flag carrier. Here's Keisha Adderley. Tourism Minister Dionisio de Aguilar says despite pullbacks in arrivals last year, tourism is, in his words, hot. Referring to filled rooms and busy attractions, he said the year has started off with some encouraging numbers. In the first month of this year, air arrivals to the Bahamas were up by a whopping 7% and sea arrivals were up by a respectable 4.6%. Even in Grand Bahama, it was some good news. Air arrivals were down 18%, but the destination experienced a 44% increase in overall arrivals with the return of the Royal Caribbean Cruise Service to the island. But it was Nassau Paradise Island that led the way with a 7.9% increase in air arrivals in January 2018, primarily caused by the coming on stream of the Bahama property. This follows upon a year which saw declines in major destinations, largely due to hurricanes and decreased room availability. The 16.4 million visitors received in 2017 was down by 2.1 percent compared to 2016. The family islands, however, were a different story. 250,000 foreign visitors flew into the family islands in 2016. 285,000 flew into the family islands in 2017. And Mr. Speaker, we're expecting the number of foreign visitors flying into the Fermi Islands to exceed 300,000 for the very first time in the history of this country in 2018. Going forward, an intense marketing thrust will target stopover visitors who on average spend 20 times more than cruise guests, but represented only 22% of visitors in 2017. The campaign will utilize social media and online bookings and target booming markets like China and possibly establish direct flights from far-flung destinations like Paris. Meantime, the stars of increased family island travel last year, Exuma and Abaco, are scheduled to see a tourist upgrade from an unconventional source. These two airports are experiencing significant growth in passenger volumes and are therefore slated to receive completely new airport infrastructure in this upcoming FNM term. Mr. Speaker, these new airports will go a long way to keeping up with the exceptional growth being experienced by the economies of these islands. But I want to educate the public that these airports are extremely expensive. I estimate, ballpark, back of the envelope calculation, that each of these airports will cost at least 30 to $35 million to build. To expect, to expect the state to fund the reconstruction of these airports from the Treasury is simply unrealistic. And the appetite for the government to keep borrowing funds to build airports is not there. Meantime, Bahamas Air is expanding. A new jet will support existing flights, mainly Florida trips, and achieve unprecedented revenue. ...to accept any further requests for added scheduled service due to restrictions of the fleet. This added aircraft will assist with alleviating this restriction. With this additional jet, Bahamas Air will, for the very first time, achieve $100 million in annual revenues. Bah Bahamas Air is actively searching for the new aircraft, and the good news is that it is expected that no additional funding will be required from the government for the acquisition of this plane. Bahamas Air will also help boost family island arrivals this year with four times weekly flights into Bimini and one into San Salvador. Keisha Adderley, ZNS Network News.